Hi Taurus, how's it going? Gwen here to do a timeless love reading for your sign. And I've been adding these um, readings to the channel, so go ahead and check out. Uh, I've got eight of pentacles that wanted to flip out already. Go ahead and check out some of the other um, videos on the channel that may resonate, you know, with your moon sign or because your, you're not just your sun sign. So it's a lover's card reading that I've been putting out there. So like I'm trying to teach everybody out there that you can build a relationship with your deck and ask specific questions and you know maybe you're having questions in your love situation you've come to an impasse choices in love you have a particular question like blocks what's going on here what's going on that's what the lover's card lover's card is about a soulmate connection okay and so i'm going to find the card the lover's card in here once i'm done shuffling and see what cards are surrounding it, you know, and that's going to be some really specific advice about your past energies, current energies, and future energies going forward. So, it's for Taurus spirit, and I already got um, two channel messages with the, like, music that came out um, for channeled songs. It was... Iris, I don't know who sings that song, but it's a song from City of Angels. And I don't want the world to see me, cause they, cause everything's meant to be broken. I just want you to know who I am. Sorry for the horrible job there, but that song, I was tearing up my heartstrings a bit. Um, you bleed just to know that you're alive. So, wow. Um, and then, what was the other song that came out for us? Spirit, remind me, please. I had to rest before your reading. Like, so there's a need for you to rest. Oh, the song that, like, when my spirit guides and my ancestors come through, they love to give me this song. And so it's kind of like my anthem kind of song. Um, and it's Journey, Don't Stop Believing. So don't stop believing in love, in the power of your love, and the power of your heart. Don't stop believing. And then, yeah, Goo Goo Dolls Iris. <sighs> Can't fight the tears that aren't coming. I just want you to know who I am. So, longing for a love connection, Taurus, don't stop believing in it. That quirky little list that you've got is something, there's somebody out there. You've been processing a lot of emotions. I just saw the Five of Cups reversed. Tells me you're releasing that. It could have been a prolonged depression. All right, this is the last time through for Taurus. Ten of Cups popping out there for some happiness in your life. Yes, don't stop believing. Mm-hmm, I love that. There's that. See, pay attention to when you're shuffling your own deck, you know, and tuning into your own deck. What are the cards that are jumping out or turning over to try to make themselves known to you? And I already just, I just mentioned that, the Five of Cups. Here it is in the upright telling me on your underlying energy, you are processing your emotions. It took me... A bit to get motivated to do your reading. I when I tune into the energies when I do these timeless collective energies it, readings, it's like I become the energy of what those Tauruses that are connected with me are going through. And so it was, yeah, it was, I was resting a, a lot of rest, and that's right here and processing some emotions. I am recording this during the energies of the Cancer full moon, which is an emotional time about introspection and about learning to mother and nurture ourselves. Okay? Relationships that are uh, nurturing now. We know the difference between them. Okay? So, yeah, I see you. Um, this is the Four of Swords in the reverse is an awakening. This is a beautiful part of your awakening. Wake up, sleepy be sleeping beauty. You know, like... This, this feminine here is very much focused on the cups that are spilled and there's all these blossoms and blessings. That's what I call them, the blossoms, the petals, the blessings, 
all around her, and there's two cups in the back of that tree there of, of, that she's not noticing, these golden cups, because she's focused on the loss. But it is, you know, like you're learning how to balance your energy, balance your emotional body, okay, and that you cannot pour from an empty cup. Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy with that, okay? But it has been a prolonged depression. Four of Cups tells me it is, and then Five of Cups is, is, is even longer. But Fives is the change. And I see you having a wake-up call, an awakening, however you want to call it. Okay? So that's the underlying energy and how I read it. And now I'm going to find the lover's card in here and see what's going on in your love situation. Remember, don't make the story fit. If it's yours, it's yours. If it's not, it's not, you know, and that's okay. Like, it might be yours next time. That's why I do private readings, too. Here it is. Okay. I'm taking one card surrounding that lover's card, and I also want to see, like, where it falls in the deck. See? It's coming to the end of a lesson that's near the end of the deck. It's more than halfway through, okay? I'm going to separate it, leave it separate, because I may want to read cards further out and how they were placed here. So, yay, lover's card in the upright. That tells me healing is occurring. That tells me unconditional love of self is happening here, okay? Balance of the feminine and the masculine within you. Here it is, okay? Feeling confident in your own skin, again. After this rest, after processing a heartbreak and, uh, and emotions, okay? You are ready again to love, searching for that love. The heart is attracting in these love, these soulmate connections here, soulmate connections. In the upright. That's how I read that. Okay. So in the past energy, right on this masculine side here, I have a Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy in the reverse. Okay. This doesn't have to be a female per se. This can be characteristics. The feminine in you is, 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 uh, is displaying. So what I find about this Queen of Wands is that she can be very passive aggressive. Okay. Um, and manipulative, you know, we all have means of, of manipulation. So, yeah, they're in their shadow aspect. I see when they when they come out in the reverse. Okay, and what else? But yeah, this this person around you, this feminine energy, um, using forms of manipulation to disempower you. Uh, as well, uh, also speaking lies. That's this is deceit, lies. Okay, lies being uncovered, changing your perspective of how you see this um, Queen of Wands in your life. That is the witch in the deck, witch. Okay, and also in the past energy, feeling left out in the cold here. Okay, Five of Pentacles. This is talking about um, you're just not feeling the love. It's an icy cold situation. But there's a little witch outside that deck there. Outside that deck. Very interesting. Okay, whatever. There's a witch outside the door there, out in the yard, and with a lantern about, you know, and that's talking about things being, he, things heating up because this came out in the reverse. You're releasing this. You are worthy of receiving love. It's like third wheel kind of energy. It's like, yeah, and now I've got the three of swords here too. Could, yeah. So you're pro you've been in the past you've been processing a lot of information that came to the light. This came was in the reverse. So you're letting go of this heartbreak, heart heartache, the lies, the deceit, the deception, the betrayal that happened in the past here. And it could have been very well been with an air sign, air, air Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. And I'm not even really seeing you show up here in, in your own reading yet. You know what I'm saying, Taurus? So that's all past energies. Which caused you to hermit, by the way. So it's caused you to go into isolation mode, the hermit. There's Virgo energy there. Okay, but in the future, what do I see? This like I see this card upright right the lovers here unconditional love been pouring into your own cup we talked about that with the queen of cups and now i see you starting a brand new new there's the magician okay excellent communication creating with his words and his thoughts um yeah alchemist brand new beginnings that's what that's talking about and it's a childlike energy so 
seeing the world through the eyes of a child again, brand new beginnings. Where the energy is reciprocal, darling, six of cups. What I give, I also receive. Six of Cups always tells me, too, it's like maybe it could be a flashback from the past. Yes. Childlike energy here. I was talking about that with the magician as well. Yeah, because you've let go of something here. There was a, there was a reluctancy, or actually this, this by this, too, can tell me it's a flashback from the past. Somebody coming from the past back into your life. Sometimes there's a reluctancy to let go. Sometimes something's a hard habit to break. That's that. It's the world card, an ending, a breakup, a separation, or a renewal. Okay? Re uh, yeah. With a king of cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Somebody who's super balanced emotionally. Okay? Uh, is living out his hopes and dreams, okay? Super passionate, intuitive, romantic, highly in tune with a heart, center, and mind. He's riding on his throne through all that crazy chaos in the ocean there. Yep, yep, this is a two of cups connection. Here it is. Your heart, centered mind is drawn in. Okay, Taurus? Connections that feel good. Soulmate connections right next to this king of cups energy. A poetic person as well. I just heard that. Somebody that was poetic. Y'all, it's just balance coming into your life, Taurus. So much balance. So don't you dare stop believing. <laughs> okay? Six and six here. Where you feel worthy and your emotional needs are, are being met. And it's balanced. The balance between the heart and the mind here. Okay? You realize your value. What else is coming? What else is coming? I keep wanting to go out farther for you, but that's how you read it. Yeah. A brand new beginning, an ace of pentacles, even could be a new job opportunity, money, financial gain. You weren't you weren't even realizing in this love reading. It's one of the ace of pentacles comes out in a trailer. in a, a love reading too. That's like this is something trusted. This is something that grounds me. You know what I'm saying? That is real. All right, Taurus, I'm going to leave it there tonight. I love you guys so much. If you enjoyed this type of reading, drop me a comment below. It's how you get entered into the free drawing um, that I give away every month. So just a comment, your name, how it resonated with you, something down below, and I'll drop your name into the hat. Let you know by the end of the month. I love you guys. Thanks for those good karma donations, and I'll see you soon. Bye.